I remember when I was learning all this stuff and like everyone was being selfish and didn't want to teach me anything. So I promised that, you know, once I became knowledgeable, anyone who wanted to learn, I would teach them. And that's the reason why we're on the phone today. I see that you have a thirst to learn and I'm going to unblock you so that you can go and do great things. And then hopefully along the way, you do the same thing for somebody else. That would be amazing. Thank yeah. you, Michael. Absolutely. And you're from India, right? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So are you still stuck on that same part for the project yesterday? Uh, I got frustrated and delete all of the things. <laughs> yeah, that can happen. All right. So your goal was to create a voice assistant. Am I correct? Yeah, I just want to make a voice assistant, which for calling my voice like uh, sex to speak. Awesome. Awesome. Now for this functionality, let's say we're talking to this agent. I'm sure you don't care about the UI yeah. right now. How are they responding to you? Are they giving yeah. you certain advice? Or are they sharing some information? Give me like a use case scenario. Mm, uh, just like show you something. Let me show a screen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, what I want to make. Uh, it's Calme. Like here I begin my session and uh, it's connect with my AI, which we're going to multi- uh, how are you doing today? Uh, just go, uh, nothing. Hey, hello. Hi, what's on your mind today? You can see that's how it's worked. And I just want to make something like that. Okay. So pretty much just like a voice agent, the same one that we have in our phone, you just want to create a web yeah. version of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You came to the perfect place. What will it do? What will okay. Is that what you're looking for? Uh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Rather than, you know, me show you through this project, I feel like you probably just want that satisfaction from just completing this project that you originally started. So how about we just start from scratch, go ahead and um, create a folder, share your screen, and I'll walk you through everything. That way, you know, the project that you were actually initially going to create, you could just finish it out and head to the live kit website as well. Also, I want you to create another tab for the, for the live kit documentation. You know, the documentation that explains the project. If you just type in live kit documentation, it'll pop up. So this is exactly what we're going to follow. Obviously they have different choices here. We're going to start with the AI agent because that's what you were doing yesterday. Correct? Okay. So as you see, this is the architecture. So this is going to simply explain what exactly uh, is speaking and why that low latency is possible. Let's scroll further down. Okay. So over here, um, it's just going to explain sort of that architecture. Um, obviously you're going to create a multimodal agent. And then here you see the live kit cloud. So go ahead and click that tab that they have there with the arrow. Okay. And then we're just going to leave that here, which actually you already had it open. Um, so it's excellent. Now you have, you created a sandbox environment yet? Mm, yeah, I made it. Okay. So here, so now if you were to go into your voice, um, assistant, right. If you were to, uh, actually launch it, what happens right now? It just doesn't say anything to you. The, the, the one that says launch. Okay. Yeah. Just say run in sandbox, right? It's not going to run obviously cause you need to configure the, uh, information. We'll do I already made my yeah. We're going to do it again. We're literally just going to do it again just so that we can actually see it happen. Okay. Sure. And sandbox and this, this uh, is all what I got. Okay. Great. So now, um, go ahead and click that launch button like you were going to do with the other one. Okay. Now, obviously, when you hit start conversation, go ahead and click it. It's not going to do anything, but go ahead and click it. All right. Just say something like, can you hear me? Oh, oh yeah. Can you, can you hear me? Excellent. Now, excellent. Now, click, uh, right click that page and hit go to inspection. Scroll to inspect. Yeah. yeah. Go to network. Um, it's the little arrow. If you see that arrow. Okay. Right there. Okay. Now, refresh this page and let's see once more. Refresh. Yeah. Just refresh the page. Okay, start the conversation. You can just click that button. Okay. All right. Let's see which one fails. Okay, so as you're talking, great. Does it have set up? Wonderful. Okay, now click the view guide. View guide. Okay. So here, bookmark this page because this is like the main page we're gonna be on for doing this. You just hit that star. See that little star? Yeah. Okay. So scroll down. You have your open AI key already. Did you get your API key? Yeah, it's just from, I have to create one now. Yeah, so you can create one. Make sure you save it, you know, somewhere on your notes or something like that, so you can easily access it. And then from there, um, we can utilize that. I just have to save this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So now 
we pretty much have our API key. Go back to that other tab. Yeah. Um, so here you've created the API key. Now we obviously need to make sure we have the latest version of node, which I'm going to assume that you do. So at this point, it's going to say, we're going to take you through the steps. So you've already created your LiveKit cloud account. Now, did you install the LiveKit CLI? If not, click yeah. that and we can do it again. No, not that one. You've already done that one. That one I confirmed. You've done that one. The second one. Get this one. Yeah. Okay. So go back. And when you open it this time, open it in a new tab, because this is what kills us. Sometimes they, the documentation is going to take you through 50 pages and you won't remember the steps. So always open it in a new tab, drag it to the side so that you can remember the order. Because as a software engineer, this is what's going to make you super fast. Um, so over here, it's going to explain what we need to install. Scroll to the top there. You have Windows. So you're going to go ahead and yeah. just run that command. Have you done this step already? Yeah. Okay. This step. We'll do it again. We'll just do it again. Just so we're... Oh. Let's do it again. Yeah, let's do it again. All right. So take that, open up the terminal. Okay. So here, Explore. this is all. Explore. Okay, great. Now let's see the other uh, configuration. You can just inside. Okay. So, now. so here it says optional. You can authenticate with the CLI to open up. Okay. So this one, yeah, I mean, Copy that, but we're not going to do anything for it with it right now. Just copy it and then let's continue scrolling down. Okay, so over here it says generate. Uh, let me turn off my phone because these guys are extremely like madness. Okay, so generate access token. So this is definitely something we're going to need. Um, a participant creating or joining a live kit room needs to uh, needs an access token to do so. For now, let's generate one via the CLI. So now you're going to go ahead and you're not just going to put this in here. You're going to replace these values with your actual project key and then your project secret. So the way that you want to do that, um, I, if you click on local host, click on local host, let me see local host. Okay. So here, um, API key dev secret. Okay. So you're running it in dev mode and this is versus the cloud mode. So it's up to what you want to do. We're going to try both right now. Let's just do the cloud one and then we'll do the local host right after. I don't remember which one I did in the video. So copy that. And do you have like a notepad so that you can like edit these values temporarily? Yeah. Okay. So all right, there. Um, so what you, yeah. So try to undo it and you can put your API key somewhere else. Maybe. Uh, which API should I use? Uh, so here I'm surprised that they're actually giving you your entire key. Cause usually they like don't show you the entire key. Is that the actual key or is that just the public name for it? Um, this is made by me and uh, okay yeah so that's the key yeah so just get get the full stack one so that we could remember you know how we did everything um and that's yeah that's the key on the bottom exactly and then you're going to need that url so yeah paste it right in there excellent and then so API key. okay there you go that's the one i was looking for so i'm like yeah that's i'm surprised they just left it there okay great so you have those two um now let's see Hold on. So room, we have to make sure that the room and the test user are this are correct. So let's see members. What do you have for members? If, if you go to uh, members, you see that members. Okay, there. Okay, so it's just you. Okay, and you're the admin. And then let's go to project. You see where it says project. Okay, so here's the project URL. So we're going to copy that um that project you were all there yeah sure okay and then where is it having you paste that into the uh notes let me try to remember go back to notes does it have anything for project URL? okay so i guess this step honestly didn't come up yet so just for room did you name your room did your room have a specific name uh i don't think let's see it should be in that sandbox that we'll see that sandbox and we created room Sure. Support assistant. Okay. And here, if we, what are those three dots say? Those three dots. What are those three dots? If you click on those three dots, what do they say? Okay. Delete. No, we don't want to do that. Okay. So just go ahead and launch it. Let me see what it's saying right now. Like it's, it's going to start. Okay. So I, I think I understand what the issue was. They don't explain really well the difference between the cloud environment and the local environment. So we're just going to finish the steps on that page. I think you have it as the third tab. 
uh, you already have it open there. Uh, it's not that one. Try the, try the, is one over from that one. Yeah, that one. Okay. One. So here, go ahead. We installed the CLI and then now we're just going to authenticate, but then we have to come back here. Remember that. Okay. We've got to come back here. So mm -hmm. let's go back to that other tab that was explaining what we're going to finish doing with the CLI because we have to authenticate. Yeah. So here, um, you've already gotten that. So let's run this command. Um, over here. It also says we can generate from our project dashboard. We can generate a token. Um, right click that one and open that in a new tab. Let me see if that one's easier. Oh, which one? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. So it's pretty big. Okay, but it doesn't say anything about the access token. Is it under a project? If you go to click on projects, are access tokens there? If you click on the project button, uh, there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, does, is there, okay, so it says rooms are automatically created when participants join. Um, admins can remotely track. Okay, allow pausing. Okay, let me scroll down. Let me see what else they have. Uh, is there anything else? Okay, connection limits. Um, scroll down all the way. And it's just going to say delete or remove. Okay, so fine. Obviously, they're not going to teach you anything, which is probably why you came to my video in the first place. Then over here, we'll just keep that open because we're going to need this. Go back to where we're looking at that documentation for the CLI, just to make sure we don't need anything else. Okay, scroll down. Okay, so here it says if you're testing right here. If you're testing a live kit cloud instance, you can find your project URL, which we saw over there in the project settings in a sample app. Okay. Whatever live kit to preview your live kit instance, enter the token you previously generated in the custom tab. Once connected your microphone and camera. Okay, great. Run that command that they gave you so we could generate our token. Yeah, exactly. Take that. Run that. Yeah. Okay, so here we're creating.